tell you, it involves something very large. Everyone in this country is a victim of corporate crime by the time they finish breakfast. Yes. Things are going on I don't approve of. I mean, I feel real bad about that. <laughs> Yeah, I think Stephen, Stephen as a director defies description in a lot of ways because he's so gifted um, and, and has explored kind of formally everything <laughs> there is to explore. So he's, he's so versatile that, uh, that, he's, that he's unlike any other filmmaker. It's a whistleblower story and, uh, you know, I think it's tonally it's so different though. Um, Stephen made a decision really early on in the process to take it in this in this direction. Um, Would you be willing to wear a wire? We need your help. 7.30 a.m. I am approaching the entrance to the office. Good morning, Liz Taylor, secretary. You don't really need to narrate the tapes for right. us when you're Absolutely. making them. Just no, not a problem. You're flabbergasted by him at certain points, going, oh, what, you know, not again, you know, and it's incredible the, some of the things that he did. But I, you know, I found it very easy to empathize with, with him, and and, uh, and I feel like the guy had this uh, really did, ha, had a had a had a good heart. You know, he just uh, found himself in in, the, in this position, and, and he and he had a genuine illness. Keep this secret. Absolutely. Don't tell us anything. It's very important to Casey not discuss this with anyone else. I'm a person of interest in an ongoing investigation. Oh my God. <laughs> there is something compelling about. You know, somebody seeing somebody who doesn't quite know what's going on in, in, in the, uh, you know, in, 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 in the main role. Though I think with this movie, this this dealing with a very smart idiot. <laughs> you know, he's he's got you know the PhD and he's got all of the credentials that, but he does some things that are extraordinarily naive. And you know, so uh, the, 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 it's kind of a fascination that, that you know, w w with this character to kind of see what what possibly could he have been thinking. I'll get back to writing, definitely, um, you know, and each role involves, um, <clears throat> you know, it's funny, when, when I did The Departed, um, um, I was sitting with Jack Nicholson, uh, we were rehearsing a scene, and he was reworking some of the lines, just little things, you know, and uh, Marty, Martin Scorsese went to the bathroom, and it was just Jack and I, and Jack said, you know, I wouldn't have lasted this long if I wasn't a great fucking writer, he said to me, and I remember thinking, of course not. How do you how do you have a forty year career in Hollywood, you know, forty or fifty year career if 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 you can't write, you know? So writing is a you know, there are the definitions of you know people get the screenplay credit and that's great. But even when we wrote our script, we we included the actors. We said to all of the actors, please, if there's a little way that you say this and it's a little better that you know and and a little more natural, please do that. Like we welcome that that type of thing. And some of the things really bothered me, you know, some of the line changes that the actors made still bother me if I see Good Will Hunting. It did, it, because I, because I knew how it sounded in my head. But, but we, on balance, we definitely came out way, way ahead by those little additions that the actors made. Um, and, uh, and so I, so I don't feel like I've left writing behind. I feel like I, I do get to do a fair amount of it, um, you know.